previously in our last episode. I bet you were the brightest in your class, weren't you? And just ahead. <laughs> OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience of two cats. G here from OG Creations. Way back in 2003, you could walk up to any younger gay man and have an hour-long conversation about at least one of the following three things. Number one. What's the number one played song on your iPod? Or... Two. Is Carrie going to end up with Mr. Big? Number three. What do you think of that new Broadway musical, Wicked? For me, the story, lyrics, and sets, they were all perfection. It's been 84 years. We're finally getting the movie version. And I'm betting that that hour-long conversation with any gay man in their 40s will be that the film had a missed opportunity of having Jonathan Bailey play Fierro completely naked. Grab your broom and get ready for a thrillifying ride as we create a tie-dye dedicated to Alphaba. We are going to reverse dye black teas and briefs, base dye them froggy ferny cabbage green, and then crumble them up and sprinkle some magical combo of dye powders straight from our grimmery for some added depth. Before we get started, I humbly ask that if you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment or two, and subscribe to my channel. Your help will be greatly appreciated. I start by stretching a slightly damp black Hanes 100% cotton tee on a plastic foam core board. This will protect the other side from getting bleached out during the first process. Using bleach gel, meant to clean your toilet, that I have transferred to a four ounce bottle with a needle nose applicator, I create streaks directly onto the fabric. The reaction time will be cut down if you're doing this in a warm room, so the warmer the better. Since it was a bit chilly in my studio, it took about 30 to 35 minutes. I carefully remove it from the board and run it individually through the laundry using a quick rinse cycle with cold water. I wipe down the board with any residual bleach and then stretch the shirt back onto the board and repeat the same process to the back. I do the exact same for the briefs. I stretch men's 95% cotton, 5% spandex briefs on a smooth plastic cutting board. All the items are soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then set aside for about 24 hours until they're practically dry. I fill my tub with two gallons of warm water, eight tablespoons of urea, and then 24 teaspoons or eight tablespoons of my dry dye powder. Here I'm using electric green. I then use a milk frother to mix it completely. Thank you. 
I add in my shirts and I allow them to set for about five minutes. I then remove them, squeeze out the extra dye, and then crumple them directly on my dye rack. I take a bit of the liquid dye and pour it over the fabric. This will hold the dye powders that I'm about to apply. I lightly sprinkle dye powders in avocado and raven. A light layer of soda ash is then applied. Again, the same process is used for the briefs. I allow them to set for five minutes and then remove them, squeeze out the extra dye, and crumble them on my dye rack. I use a little bit of the liquid dye and pour it over the fabric. I lightly sprinkle dye powders in avocado and raven and then a light layer of soda ash. Everything is set aside for 48 hours to cure in a 70 degree space. They are rinsed in cold water and then I slowly increase the temperature to hot to ensure that all the soda ash has been removed. They were ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle.
After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, I added them to my Etsy store ready to purchase. You can get these and similar items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. If you've liked this tutorial, make sure to check out the other video I've just dropped dedicated to Glinda. I love this process. Every time I use it, I get very exciting results. The bleaching process adds dimension, the base dye brings everything to the surface, and then crumpling it up and adding those dye powders on tops breaks up those lines and adds a bit of chaos. Should I say it? There's nothing that can stop you from becoming popular. Lar. When you wear this one. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please make sure to like and subscribe. And while you're at it, who's your favorite? Alphaba or Glinda? Let me know in the comment section below by either a green or pink heart. I'll see you next week.